Howdy, my beloved YouTube fans and subscribers to Ron Stock's channel. Game Holder made me mad the other day, so I stuck my hand down his throat and cast in burning hands. Needless to say, his innards are burnt to a crisp. His stupid creation, Lug Lug, however, is somewhere here in Arcanum, and I mean to put that dim-witted shit ogre out of business by showing you the show and the shit that really gets done around here. Journey with me and you'll see more of Arcanum than you can imagine. Not to mention, I can converse properly with people, unlike that shit for brains. Yes, although the game holder is burning in hell as we speak, where I teleported him a laptop so he can still narrate and interject as he sees fit. After all, I wouldn't be here without him. From now on, you can refer to him as Ron Frankenstock, for he has created a monster, and I have slain him. <laughs> now, let's begin a real LP of this game, but a real evil son of a bitch like me. Alright, so here we are with Ronstock, the evil elven mage. Uh, he is level 3 at the same point that we started with Lug Lug's adventure. Very weak. I actually gave him an extra point in strength so he could carry more stones, even though we're going to have plenty of followers to do a lot of lugging around for us. Constitution 6, Dexterity 9, Beauty 9, Intelligence 10, Willpower 13, Perception 9, and Charisma 9 will be course increasing intelligence willpower charisma mainly and also constitution as well because that will help with his fatigue which directly relates with the amount of times he can cast a spell um, I'm also thinking about giving him throwing a little bit so he can when he is out of magic he can throw um, might not mean too much when we get enough followers the main thing we'll be focusing on is the magic spells here uh, we have Conveyance spells, divination spells, air spells, earth spells, fire spells, which I've already given him agility of fire and wall of fire. I'm working on fire flash. Water spells, force spells, mental spells, meta spells, morph spells, nature spells, necromantic black spells. I've of course, given him harm. It's Every wizard should have it. Necromantic white spells, such as healing. Those could come into play very well and probably be focusing on some of that. We also have phantasmal spells. Summoning spells will be getting uh, most of those, if not all. And temporal spells. Probably look into those as well. I'm going to try to get as much magic and show as much of the important magic as possible. Or useful magic, I should say. A lot of the magic spells are fucking worthless. Now, of course, we can't carry quite as much as Lug Lug, but we have given a lot of stuff to Virgil because he can carry things. You also notice I have these robes, which I haven't identified yet, and a boomerang, which I really suck at throwing. Virgil is, of course, wearing armor what that I gave him. What is me? Uh, and you can see that here. It's unidentified, but it's obviously way better than the robes. So he went ahead and he equipped that. Equipped that. Uh, he's at a thousand stones. We'll give him some more shit to carry. And let's get on with the show. Now, for the sake of the fact that there may be some people out there that are only watching this art this let's play of this arcanum game uh, i'm going to be going over of course the dialogue and we'll be doing it in ron stock's maniacal voice as opposed to lug lugs it's going to be a lot more dialogue there'll be several extra quests that we can do because of the higher intelligence uh, and the dialogue is going to be different so even though we'll be rereading and re-going through the same conversations I'm going to make it as diverse as possible for you. This headstone is exquisitely carved with the message, Jamala, beloved wife and mother. She was probably a bitch. 
His headstone is exquisitely carved with the message Scythe, beloved son, who is most likely also a faggot. Hello. Mary met my brother. I don't believe I had the pleasure. Who are you? The wizened old priest seems to be in some pain. I am Arbala, he winces. And you are? I am Ronstock. Well, Ronstock, what brings you to my humble farm? I've been sent here by Brego's spirit. He's dead already. How sad. Has he sent you to finish what he did not? Already? Finish what he started? What are you speaking of, douche? I am surprised this path ended so soon after. After he shattered mine. After I had offered them food and drink. He and his friend Farkas, I believe his name was, ransacked my house for whatever they could find. And they finally found my one object of any value, a sacred holy artifact. They killed my family. They left me for dead as well. So, you curse them? He winces in pain once again. I retired from priesthood some years ago, but all I could think to do in my pain and grief. Their souls will never leave this plane of existence. And the curse of madness that caused Farkas to kill Brego? No, I believe that was the curse of greed. If I had to guess, Farkas decided he didn't want to share the ill-gotten gains with anyone. Despicable people. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for your kind words, but there is something else I need to recover. The sacred artifact they stole. It is... Very important to me. I need it to pray to my gods effectively. Did Brego say anything? Give any clue as to where it might be? No, he did not. He hobbles a bit closer to you. I know it's none of your affair, but you could assist me in trying to locate what is rightfully mine. That depends on what it'd be worth to you. I'm afraid I'm not one to gather some material possessions about him. I have nothing to offer you. But my gratitude. Hmm. I suppose helping you would be the right thing to do. Excellent. Perhaps our friend, the late Mr. Brego, would have some information he can impart to you regarding the location of my sacred possession. I will return when I received your property, sir. Back to the crash site. I don't think I got that letter that I got with Lug Lug. I need to find that. Right now it's not even daylight. Now as long as I have spell points, this wizard just blasts people with that harm spell. I mean, I was killing the big wolves and shit. A little bit more difficult, but... Definitely cannot take the damage that Lug Lug can, but hopefully when we have enough followers, we won't be taking any damage. Help me, please, help me. The spirit appears in great pain. Please, I beg of you. I had a conversation with Arbala. You are a liar, my friend. I need to talk to that friend that killed you. So you spoke with Arbala instead of killing him. Bravo. I applaud you. Tell me where Farkas is. Why should I tell you that? I'll still be here for eternity. I convinced Arbala to release you if you helped me. You would, wouldn't you? There's one thing about you noble types. It's you'll do the right thing. Even if it kills you very well. Anything to be released from this pain? He points to the location on your map. Farkas is here. Thanks for the information. Please hurry. Release me from my pain. There it is.
my dearest friend, I'm aboard the IFS Zephyr. Speeding on my way to see you again, my breath catches when I think in two short weeks I shall be your wife. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? That is correct, my dear, I am accepting your proposal. I hope the thoughts of your warm heart for long days and nights guarding Vermilion Station from the half or looters you mentioned. Love always, Wilhelmia. What a bunch of shit. got better things to do than read these gay love letters. Onward. Hmm. That bastard I killed earlier left something behind. Another one of these amulets. The strange symbol on its face. That of an eye in a hexagram. Pay a visit to Simon Farkas's shack. See what this bastard has to say. What could an elf possibly want with me? Please, excuse me, sir. I meant no offense. There's no excuse for a worthless fool such as yourself. I demand satisfaction, dog. No one talks to Ron Stock like that. That's right. Get burnt up, a bitch. Where, where am I? The pain. Please release me. You are dead. <laughs> What? No! Yes, oh, and you are cursed to be trapped here forever. Ah, please, no! Fuck my life! Give me the artifact, fool. This place smells of shit. retrieved your artifact. I thank you, as do the spirits of my ancestors. I must admit to having lied to you before. He smiles a kindly smile. I do have something to give you, something of immeasurable value. I bestow my blessing on you. Everyone you meet will now react more favorably to you than perhaps they did in the past. Thank you. React to that asshole. Die! <laughs> My artifact. I'll take your shitty robes as well. Give me one second, Virgil. I have to urinate on a grave. Return to the crash site, see what the spirit thinks about that. Whoa! You're just gonna throw a fucking big black grizzly bear on me? Burn, baby, burn! Of course, we got a point here. I'm just pumping up willpower right now. Next level, we are going to take Fire Flash. We're also going to want to get some... Oh, hell, I don't know. What else is good? 
forget. There's some spark spell that's good for... Uh, yes, jolt. Jolt is good. Yeah, we'll be doing fire, lightning, summoning, temporal, necromatic, black, and white. Fuck you, Yogi. Your task. Abala is dead. He begins laughing. <laughs> what is it? Why is that so amusing? You fool! You have released me and completed my revenge from beyond the grave. I want you to know I laughed as I gutted Abala's family. They begged for mercy, and you are now party to the slaughter of innocence. Fare thee well, ignorant dog. Bastard. We'll find a way to torment you, dog. <laughs> Better yet, on the contrary, I enjoy killing innocents myself. Stupid spirit. What is it that you want of me? I want you to shut up. And carry more of my shit as well. It's finally time to head to the Shrouded Hills with our evil mage. And of course, you can make little waypoints like that on the map and execute the order and watch your guy frantically run there. Before we leave, we'll read over our journal. If you haven't already watched the Lug Lug version of this, the journals are significantly different based on your intelligence. January 1st, 1885, 3 p.m. It seems as if I only survived the crash of the Ibis Zephyr. The Zeppelin was unexpectedly set up by a strange flying machines. Among the wreckage, I found a dying gnome who gave me a signet ring bid me to find the boy who owned it, with a vague warning of something that is almost here. He also said that if he escaped, I had no clues to where he had escaped from. After I dragged myself from the wreckage of the Zeppelin crash, I was approached by a monk of the Panari religion. He seems to believe that I am the living one, the reincarnation of some deity of theirs. I have found a plaque on one of the flying machines that bore the legend Maxim Machinery Caladon. A strange shine at the crash site had this carved into it, and his spirit would be reborn on wings of fire and hills shrouded in fog. Archeon 516. January 1st, 1885, 5.19pm. The living one is meant to be the reincarnation of an elf named Nasrunin, a powerful elf wizard. I was attacked by a strange man at the crash site. He was very curious as to what I was doing there and assaulted me after a few questions. I'm afraid there's something very odd going on here. We also have our quest log, our reputations, blessing and curses, kills, background, and key ring contents. Hello, Joaquim is staying at the inn next to the bank. Good for him. Happy to meet you. I've just been in the most terrible blimp crash, sir. Good God. You mean the IFS Zephyr? Thought I heard something in the night. Where'd this happen? Just up the hill. I recommend you bring the coroner. Oh, no. What about the local surgeon? Are there any other survivors? No. 
seems luck has favored only myself. A lucky soul you are. You've come right to the right man. Being the local constable, it'll follow me to take action. Well, I have to send a party up to the side as soon as possible. Yes. Yes, I do have a few more questions, though. Of course, go ahead. What can you tell me of this place? Surely, this is the Shrouded Hills, a mining town through and through. As far as the towns go, it's pretty old, but we've got most of what the soul might need. What sort of mining goes on around here? Or oh, mining mostly. Not even so much of that anymore. Years ago, the old Bassie Toon Silver Mine brought quite a business on the Shrouded Hills. The vein ran dry, and so did most of the old local commerce. All that comes up out of old Bessie now is iron ore. Where is old Bessie Toon Silver Mine? The old Bessie is just west of town, a bit north. People don't go out there much anymore. Shrouded Hills folk always were a bit superstitious about old Bessie. Why is that? Just who is Bessie Toon? Bessie Toon? She's an old woman who used to live here in town. On that silver mine. Really strange old lady. Strange. How? Well, folks say she never slept and she makes shepherd's pie out of shrews. Typical towny talk. Someone said old Zeph Yeats' backside broke out in boils when he sat on a divan. I get the picture. Is that all? No. When the mine started to dry up, I guess she got real batty. Went up there one day, fired all the workers, and walked down into the mines. Word has it she's never seen again. That is a bit odd. Who owns the mine now? I'm not sure. I suppose it's owned by her son now, Percival Toon. My thanks. May I ask a few more questions? Of course. Go ahead. Do you know anything about the altar in the mountains? Strange business, that. It belongs to the local religious types, a group called the Panari. Seems they think something strange is going to happen around here. So they're always going up there to wait for it. What exactly do these Panari believe in? He eyes Virgil, seeming to notice him for the first time. I think your Panari companion there would know a lot more about it. Why don't you ask him? Thank you. A few more questions, if you will. Can you tell me anything about this ring? Hmm, looks a bit fancy to me. I'd not be the one to ask. You might want to try Ratezzi, the porter. He's got a shop in town. What sort of businesses are here in town? Oh, uh, the usual thing, a blacksmith, a general store, an inn with the pub. If you're looking for some healing, old Doc Roberts can help you. He's just north of here. Who's in charge around this shithole? Well, I sort of double as the constable and town mayor. I suppose you could say I'm the man to see. What's the quickest way out of this pigsty? Yeah, well, that's a sticky situation. You see, there's only one bridge to the east of town, and... Currently, that very bridge is being held by a group of thieves. Continue. We are building another bridge further down the river, but these thieves are making anyone who cross the bridge pay heavy toll. Needless to say, the locals aren't happy. Why haven't you done anything about it, Constable? Uh, wait, I... Uh, you know, oh, we got other problems, of course. I plan to take care of them as soon as humanly possible. I'm sure you're very busy... Perhaps I could help. Really? Oh, I mean, not that I need it. I, you just seem fit for the job. I always thought about getting a deputy. Sure. If you're willing, I suppose I could give you a chance. I'd be honored to remove them. What's the pay? You're an amateur, but I suppose I could see the way of paying you 50 gold pieces for the job. Done. Great. I look forward to hearing about your success. Come back when you solve the problem. I'll return when I've taken care of things. <laughs> Come, let's talk to this short little gnome up here. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but overhear you telling the good constable that you were the sole survivor on the IFS Zephyr. Is that true? Yes, I was. Oh, thank heavens. And there were survivors. Did the others come here as well? Where are they staying? There were no other survivors, you little shit of a gnome. I was the only one. Are you sure? My older brother, he was on a blimp. A gnomish gentleman of some years. Did you happen to see him? I did see a gnome. I'm sorry, but he's dead as a lump of shit. No, not Preston. I see. Thank you, sir. You've been most helpful. I'm sorry for your loss. Good day to you. Yes, what can I do for you? 
And you, good sir, are? I am Rissezi, importer of fine goods and rarities from all over the world. Nowhere will you find more incredible assortment of fantastical oddities. From the four corners of Arcanum and beyond, you're looking for something specific, yes? Uh, no, I really just chanced to stop by. No one just chances into Rattezzi's. Rattezzi always has something for everyone, no? Take a look. Must you always refer to yourself in the third person? Uh, Rattezzi is Rattezzi, no? Rattezzi can only be what Rattezzi is, Rattezzi. Enough said, good man. A few questions. What can Rattezzi do for you? Well, could you tell me about this ring? Interesting. Hmm. A finely made piece of jewelry. What exactly do you want from Rattezzi? Do you know about the initials GB? GB? No. No one I know. Plus, it's impossible that someone in Shrouded Hills would own such a high-quality piece of jewelry. More likely, they'd melt it down and use it for nails. Oh, and the thought... Our Tezzi has languished here, my friend. Let's get back to the point. What is it made of? I'm not quite sure, but Rattezzi would say that it's made out of silver. A fine grade as well. Note the way it shines. Rattezzi would also say that it was made nowhere near Shrouded Hills. Nothing of such quality could have come out of this place. I'll ask about the imprint of P. Schuler's and Son. P. Schuler's and Son, a very important piece of the puzzle, eh, my friend? Rastezzi has been very free with information, though. What have you to offer, Rastezzi? What do you want in return? Well, Rastezzi is a collector of strange and wonderful things. Perhaps there are a few objects you could add to Rastezzi's collection. What things are you looking for exactly? Two things, actually. If you were able to locate a camera or something of Bessie Toon, Rastezzi might tell you about P. Schuler's and Sons. I have the camera already. Let's trade. <laughs> Wonderful. Tezzi should tell you what you want to know, then. Schuler and Sons is well-respected jeweler in Tehran. A strange family, but they always do good business. And here, Tezzi shall mark Tehran on your map as well. Their address is City, 44 Devonshire Way. Good luck, my friend. Thank you, Tezzi, and good day to you as well. What is it that you want of me? Let me see my shit. I want to sell some of this bastard. Steel and metal and stuff like that. Got a music box, he's got some metal can, ooh, metal can. Pocket watch parts, some guns and shit. Now when you make a mage, you wanna make sure you don't mess around with technological stuff. And we've got another, oh, oh two levels. Well, let's go ahead and get Fire Flash. What is it that you want of me? I want my guy to move. We have nothing left to talk about, sir. I have arrangements to make. Good day to you. Arrange that, you fucking little gnome. Fireballed, son. Boom. Oh, 
Oh, fucking destroy. Look, I blew half of his body apart. Ron Stock likes that spell, yes. Nothing to loot. All right, folks. Well, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed one or both of the LPs of Arcanum. I'll be doing and uploading a lot more throughout the week and a shit ton during this weekend. Thanks for watching. I know we're going to reload. I'm not going to kill the gnome yet. But we do it for fun. Killing is fun.